Good morning. My name is Amelia, and I'm an 8th grade student at St. Michael's School and a member of the Mercy Corps leadership team. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the Feast of St. Catherine of Siena. St. Catherine of Siena was a third order Dominican known for her contemplation and prayer, as well as her involvement in church and civil affairs. During the time when there were two and three popes, each claiming the papacy, St. Catherine died with Pope Urban VI. Though she said not to learn to write until later in life, Catherine ranks high among the mystics and spiritual writers of the church. In 1939, she and Francis of Assisi were declared co-patrons of Italy. Catherine died in 1380. She was named a doctor of the church in 1970. St. Catherine of Siena is the patron saint of Europe, fire prevention, and Italy. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us. This week, we will be listening for the different names of Jesus in our readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest and all who were with him arrested the, the apostles and put them in the public prison. They had them stand before the council. The high priest questioned them, saying, We gave you strict orders not to teach in Jesus' name, yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you are determined to bring this Jesus' blood on us. But Peter and the apostles answered, we must obey God rather than any human authority. The God of our ancestors raised up Jesus, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted Jesus at his right hand as leader and savior, that he might give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. The word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Peter said that they must obey God rather than any human authority. What does that mean? Please join me in saying, Regina Choli, Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. The Son, whom you were made worthy to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, you have given joy to the whole world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant that through the intercession of of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of eternal life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For our protection and especially for our military and police forces, let us now pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Teresa of Kolkata, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
There are no birthdays today. On this day in history in 1961, ABC's Wide World of Sports debuts. Today is also National Shrimp Scampi Day. The quote of the day is by Gahandi. A man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. Have a thriving Thursday. This is Ashlyn, Go Crusaders.